Thanks for joining us for another Oilfield Basics video blog. My name is Sebastian Jaya, and we here at Oilfield Basics are trying to build the go-to educational platform for the oil and gas industry. There are so many awesome topics to cover, and if you like what we're doing or find this video helpful, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this with someone you think could benefit from our material. Today, we're going to be talking about what classes you should expect to take as a student pursuing petroleum engineering. Well, let's dive in. Before I go into great detail with classes you should expect to take as a petroleum engineering major, please understand that classes you have to take will vary college to college and country to country. For example, students may take very different classes if they're going to school to study petroleum engineering in Texas versus someone who's studying petroleum engineering in, let's say, in Europe, in, in Poland, for example. So curriculum changes college to college based on what they think is best for their students and what they think will provide the industry with the best students that they could provide. During your first two years of college, as a freshman and sophomore, you will be taking primary and general engineering courses. These are courses that all engineering majors will take, such as Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, Differential Equations, Statistics, those are just some of the math classes that you'll most likely be taking. Uh, some of the sciences that you'll be taking is Physics 1, Physics 2, Chemistry, Chemistry 2, um, computer science, statistics, fluid dynamics, and more. These are just some of the classes that I took during my first two years at college. And if you decide to go with the petroleum engineering route, you may end up taking classes that are very much so petroleum based, such as I took a Petro 101 class during my uh, freshman year first semester. And this class was intent to introduce you to the petroleum and natural gas industry and to give you a little taste of what to expect during your four years um, in this program. And you might also take some geology classes. For example, I took a physical geology class and then a historical geology class. Both were one semester long, and that gave me a real good understanding of geology and um, will help build upon that if once I take a more advanced geology class coming up uh, in my junior year. I even was able to take a petrophysics class which was a little more technical based, but it also, you know, dip your feet into, into the petroleum engineering water. And so nothing was too technical, nothing was too complicated with those classes, but it just gave you a taste of what to expect coming in um, with your next few years at, as a student in petroleum engineering. So the course load of your first two years at college is there to build a general engineering background that you can use in the oil and gas industry and beyond. You'll be taking all these classes and you'll be asking yourself, why am I doing this? You know, this is terrible. I don't want to, I don't want to be a chemistry uh, student. I don't want to be a physicist. I just want to be a petroleum engineer. Well, you have to take those classes in order to build that background that you'll be able to take into your petroleum engineering classes and then eventually into your, into your career. And so as you become a junior standing student, your course load will consist of a mix of petroleum and upper level engineering courses. These classes can consist of thermodynamics, formation evaluation, which is a class based on evaluating well logs, a drilling engineering course, a reservoir engineering course, production engineering, even I'm going to be taking a petroleum geology course, which is a course devoted to solely petroleum geology and the geology of unconventionals and conventional reservoirs, and also phase behavior, which talks about you know, the five types of reservoirs, um, how to calculate all your coefficients, and so forth. These are all courses that are petroleum specific and will help build your engineering knowledge of our industry. Lastly, as you become a senior, you will take classes that are very technical and specific to our industry. These classes can be advanced versions of a drilling or production engineering class you've taken in the past. Every year of college is meant to build upon itself, and in the end, your degree in petroleum engineering is very valuable. If you're a student thinking about majoring in petroleum engineering, then please check out our academic course on oilfieldbasics.com. Derek and I created this course with the attempt to replace a Petra 101 book, and it's filled with very relevant and up-to-date information. And this will help separate yourself from other students coming into college. Please feel free to comment below, ask us anything. We'll be here to help you out. And if any more questions regarding the specific number of classes you have to take, or any classes that you should take in high school to help better prepare yourself for that major and going to college, feel free to reach out to us. 
so we have general knowledge of what you should do to help yourself and be more proactive and better, better advance yourself and prepare yourself for the industry and possibly internships. So feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you have. Hopefully this video helped inform you of what a typical course load looks like for a student pursuing a bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering. If you want to learn more about the four types of petroleum engineers, then please check out a video that Derek and I filmed a few months back on our YouTube channel. Also, be sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on our other social media platforms. We've got an Instagram page that we're growing ra very rapidly, Facebook page, uh, and a LinkedIn. We'll see you in the next one.